want to fill up the burette with the sodium hydroxide solution. Now, burettes, one can assume that they are clean, and someone else is going to not trust the people who used it before, is going to use the, the uh, deionized water, which is a better technique. So you have deionized water and for two purposes. One, to make sure that it actually is going to be working. So the stop work is not clogged or it's, uh, it's working properly. Then you are going to rotate the burette like this to make sure inside wall is completely clean. Next, we want to rinse it. So burette is clean. Now we want to rinse it with sodium hydroxide. Why do we need to rinse it with sodium hydroxide? Because after we wash with dry water, there might be some drops of the deionized water. You could still see there here, some drops of DI water in the burette, and that could dilute the solution that we are using. So we want to make sure to rinse the burette with sodium hydroxide. I'm going to always transfer to smaller containers so you have you have it like more controlled and is more manageable. Use a small plastic bottle to fill the burette. I only need about five to ten milliliters of the solution. And while I'm pouring the solution in, I have to make sure the stop cook is closed. Now take the funnel out, similar procedure. I'm going to rotate it to make sure inside the burette is completely uh, rinsed with the, with the sodium hydroxide. I don't need that uh, solution, so I'm going to discard it, discard the wash solution. My burette is ready to be used. I washed it with the distilled water and I rinsed with sodium hydroxide. I'm going to always rinse it with the same solution that I'm going to fill it up. I'm holding it, I'm holding the burette so you can see it better. Otherwise, this needs to be secured on the on the burette clamp. I put higher than zero we worked with this um, for experiment one already a couple times so the graduation line it starts from zero it goes down to 50 so i put liquid more than to make it higher than level of the zero then i'm going to dispense some out to adjust it exactly at zero and i'm looking for the meniscus, just like any other cylinder shape equipment, when we have liquid in the cylinder shape equipment, it's going to be leveling at the curve. So we have to look for the lowest point of the curve in order to reach the level. So I need to get it down to exactly zero. There is, sometimes there is the air bubble here. And if there is air bubble, I put it lower. I put it at a, uh, I take more, I dispense more of the liquid until I make sure there is no air bubble here. And if there is no air bubble here, and also making sure that this level is at one now. So and my starting volume is going to be one. So initial burette reading for me is going to be one at this point that I had to dispense uh, some more liquid now to get to get rid of the air bubbles that we have. So next we have the uh, initial burette reading. I have 1.00 initial burette reading. 1.00. 